hello guys welcome to online chemistry course uh, we're gonna talk about law of multiple proportion okay this is also one of the fundamental laws in chemistry um, this is in addition to law of conservation of mass and law of definite proportions which uh, we have already discussed all right so uh, this law was actually proposed by John Dalton okay John Dalton uh, it was proposed in 18 okay and also one of the fundamental laws in chemistry as I've already mentioned um, what it says and the definition of it is quite long-winded so you're gonna have to pay attention when two elements okay when two elements combine to form more than one compound okay so when two elements combine to form more than one compound so let's take an example of that uh, let's say you have a carbon and oxygen okay if you have carbon and oxygen carbon and oxygen can combine in two different ways so you can get either CO carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide makes sense so if you have two elements here we have carbon and oxygen they can combine to form more than one compound so you get carbon monoxide or you can get carbon dioxide then it says then the masses okay then the oops so then the masses of one of the element one of the element which combine with combine with fixed mass of other element okay so let's see what that means all right so we have carbon and oxygen they combine to form either carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide now here one of the element okay in that case it would be an oxygen which combined with fixed mass of other element which is carbon because carbon is having the fixed mass right oxygen's mass is changing um, but the mass of the carbon is same and so when oxygen combines with carbon either to give carbon monoxide or to give carbon dioxide it would combine in such a way that the ratio of oxygen in oxygen and carbon dioxide so carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide is going to be a simple whole ratio okay so it says um, so then the masses of one of the element which combine with the fixed mass of the other element are in are in simple whole ratio all right so if you calculate the ratio of mass of oxygen and carbon uh, oxygen in carbon monoxide and oxygen in uh, carbon dioxide it, it is a simple whole ratio it makes sense because in co you just have one oxygen okay over in carbon dioxide you have or you can take um, carbon dioxide in the numerator so you take um, CO2 by CO and you just simply calculate the ratios of masses of oxygen uh, so you have two oxygen there and in carbon monoxide you just have one oxygen so the ratio is 2 is to 1 so that is a simple whole ratio there is no fraction okay you don't get a f uh, you don't you can't have an oxygen which is 2.5 or 1.5 all right uh, you don't have compounds where the uh, where the the ratio of oxygen is fraction if you can take another compound in the same line you take co3 okay if you take a co3 and if you if you can it's again um, 3 is to 2 is to 1 and that is the ratio of co3 to co2 to co so this is the ratio of oxygens uh, when oxygen combines with carbon okay 
and it is always a simple whole ratio it's never a fraction and this is the law of multiple proportions we can take few more examples if you like here's another example um, h2o and h2o2 all right here uh, the mass of h2 is fixed all right and if you take the ratio of oxygens it is 1 is to 2 isn't it simply it's 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1 you can say okay and you can calculate the masses but we know that you know the mass of the atom does not change so the ratio will um, will have that particular ratio uh, the mass of oxygen in in this uh, h2o or mass of oxygen in s2o2 is same essentially so they have to cancel out and you will get a simple whole ratio okay you can take another example let's say you have um, nh3 and n2h4 all right again here um, if you look at nitrogen nitrogen we can common it out right so we can have uh, one nitrogen on both sides you can write this compound as nh2 and this is going to be your nh3 again the ratio of hydrogens is 3 is to 2 which is again a simple whole ratio okay um, so the masses uh, you can calculate by the mass um, so if you can calculate by the mass it's going to be the mass of nitrogen here is 14 and in you know, a mass of hydrogen is going to be 3 here mass of nitrogen is 28 here mass of hydrogen is is um, 4 all right you're gonna have to divide this by 2 you're gonna get 14 by 2 again um, so here you have for for a mass of 14 nitrogen you have 3 hydrogen so for a mass of 14 nitrogen you have 2 hydrogen so the ratio of hydrogens in NH3 and N2H4 is 3 is to 2 okay and that is the law of multiple proportion that the ratio of the element okay that combines with um, uh, that combines with a fixed mass of other element is always a simple whole ratio and it is never a fraction all right um, in the next um, in the next recording we're gonna see law of reciprocal proportions all right guys thank you if you like the video please subscribe